The Swamp invades the Coliseum tomorrow in the SEC Big 12 Challenge. West Virginia hosting Florida in the first game with 1,000 fans permitted at the Coliseum in 2021. Mountaineers have lost two straight games against the Gators, most recently in the 2018 Jimmy V Classic at Madison Square Garden. Meanwhile, this year's 9-4 UF team has won three consecutive contests. Five of their players average in double figures, led by 15 from 6'5 sophomore guard Trey Mann. The name of their game as of late is Pushing Pace, and head coach Bob Huggins says Florida is one of the most athletic teams that West Virginia will see all year. With the speed that they have and the ball speed that several of their guys have, it's advantageous for them to, to attack a defense that's not a set defense, that's, a, that's spread a little bit. We work on transition defense and offense every single day probably more than some guys would would enjoy to do but that's uh that's the name of the game in, in our conference and the sec is score and score fast um so we know what they want to do hugs has done this for so long and and truly realizes uh what the best way is to slow that down um so we're just going to execute offensively and defensively Mountaineer junior forward Derek Culver has been named one of the 10 finalists for the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Award for the top center in the country. He's the sole Big 12 representative on the list. D.C. is averaging 13 points and 10 boards through 15 games. Staying in basketball, the top-rated prospect in West Virginia's class of 2022, Polka guard Isaac McNeely tweeted that he'll be announcing his college hoops decision tomorrow at 2. He narrowed down his selection to his top eight in November to West Virginia, Virginia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisville, North Carolina, and Purdue. McNeely was a first-team All-State selection as a sophomore, averaging 22 points a game. Him and the Dots are slated to come to Clarksburg to play Notre Dame on March 19th. Speaking of which, the WVSSAC has released some fan guidelines to high schools for the upcoming winter seasons. Only parents, grandparents, and household members will be allowed to attend basketball and wrestling matches. For swimming, spectator capacity will be determined by the facility. All three sports can start conditioning on February the 8th, followed by practices on the 15th. Spring and fall athletics can begin conditioning and weight training on the 15th as well. To the football field now, rivals reporting that West Virginia junior running back Alex Sinkfield has entered the NCAA's transfer portal. The player they call Sink was the Mountaineers' backup running back in 2020. He carried the ball 78 times for 327 yards and three touchdowns. The status of the Mountaineer backfield is this. First team All Big 12 rising senior RB Letty Brown is expected to be the go-to guy again in 2021. With sophomores Tony Mathis and Avarius Sparrow, and incoming freshman Jalen Anderson and Justin Johnson now vying for that RB2 slot. Of course, we have a packed weekend of sports here in North Central, bringing you highlights from the Coliseum tomorrow right here on 5 News at 6. That's the latest in sports, Anna, back to you.